Hi guys, I'm Megan Brightwood and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be my mid-July knitting update. I do these updates every two weeks or so just to kind of let you know what I've been working on, if I've finished anything, all of that, and I do have a playlist full of them so I can link that below if you want to check it out. And also, usually at the beginning of these videos, I like to take a moment to talk about whatever hand knit sweater I am wearing that day. And this is actually a finished object for this particular knitting update. So we're just gonna hop right into it and start with this particular sweater. So this is the Weekender Light by Andrea Mowry. I finished it probably a week ago, I would say. I did already do a video wearing it and I absolutely love this sweater. It's out of a Cascade Heritage yarn in the colorway Golden Yellow. It's a really fun, just bright, sunny color. I really enjoy it and it has a lot of really nice details. So if you've heard of The Weekender by Andrea Mowry, it's basically the same thing, but that one is out of a worsted weight and this is out of a fingering weight yarn. And I like this one so much better. I've tried to do the regular Weekender before and I think that the weight of that is just a little bit heavier than I typically like. I really do like those fingering weight sweaters, so this is very comfortable. It's worked inside out, so it's worked in stockinette, but then you turn it inside out and it's mostly reverse stockinette, which I think is really cool. It's not something that I've seen on a lot of sweaters. Usually the ones that I go for are more of a stock net sort of texture and then it has this faux seam going straight down the middle and then it's on the back as well. It's got some ribbing up at the shoulder with an exposed seam but it is all worked seamlessly so there's no finishing really at the end other than just weaving in the ends. And then it does have some ribbing at the cuffs as well. It does also feature a tubular cast off, which I thought was really nice because it has a really just nice polished look when it's finished. But I did realize that I had been doing the tubular cast off incorrectly for quite a while, I wanna say years probably. So I understood the method of casting off, but I didn't realize that you were supposed to do two specific rows beforehand. So if you're working flat, you knit a stitch and then you slip a stitch, knit, slip, knit, slip. And then you do the opposite on the other, on the other side and it creates a much nicer edge than if you just cast it off. It has much more of a tube shape to it. So yeah, if you're like me and we're doing it wrong, I hope that that has helped you. And yeah, I really, I've been wearing this quite a lot. It's been hot outside, but inside our house is very well air conditioned. And there have been times that I'll tell my husband, Joe, I need to go outside just to warm up. It is so cold in here. And he likes it really cold. The kids like it cold. It's just me. I'm the one that has an issue with it. But anyway, that is my Weekender Light. I really like it. This next project is one that I had finished and I've actually worn it in a video already, but I had some little sizing issues. So I went back to fix those. So now it's not really a completed project. And let me know in the comment section if you kind of feel like, yeah, this, this counts as a finished object. You don't need to show this again or if I should completely finish it and then share it again. I'm not really sure. Like I said, I have worn it in a video already, so I kind of feel like it's a project that I've already finished. But anyway, it's a crocheted tank top by Brianna K Designs. And this is what it currently looks like. So it's mostly a double crocheted project with some skipped stitches in there. And the thing that makes this more of an unfinished project now than before is that I went ahead and took off all of this little edging right here and redid it in a larger hook size, which is what the pattern said. But because I am such a beginner crocheter, I didn't do that. I just used the needle that I was using or the hook that I was using and it, it didn't work out very well. So I went back and redid that 
it fits much better and the other thing that I had to kind of redo a little bit is these buttons so when I'd done it the first time the stitches were really really small and I could only fit like the tiny little shirt buttons through and now since I've gone back and redone it then I can put my typical buttons in but I uh, ran out of those buttons. So I need to add like two or three more down here before it's completely finished. And then I also have to redo the strap on here. When I was pulling out the edging, this one stayed attached, but this one came apart and I'm not really sure how I ended up doing that. But one of the things that I do kind of want to change with this little tank top is that I do want to shorten up the straps just a little bit. They're just a hair long for me. Otherwise, it's great. I really like it. I am thinking of lining it because be, just because of those skipped stitches, it's a little bit hard to find something to wear underneath but I think that I should be able to line it all right. I'm still kind of figuring out how to do that and I figure I should just get the whole thing done first. But anyway, that is my little honeycomb crocheted tank top. I really like it and I do have a few other crochet projects that I want to work on in the near future here and I do have a video on that. I can link it below. It's my uh, top five crochet projects for the summer if you want to see kind of a sneak peek into projects that I have in mind for next time. And then I do also have kind of a half finished project. I'm a little bit further than that, but I did a new video on how to knit men's socks. So this is my finished sock, but what you may not have known in that video is that I have not actually completed the second sock yet. So I have this much of the second cuff done so far and I don't think that it'll take me too long. For some reason it seems like, for me anyway, that the leg takes the longest amount of time and then because there's some shaping all along in here, the rest of the foot goes really really quickly for me. I like to have stuff just moving along a little bit. I don't really like just knitting back and forth and back and forth or around and around and around. It's not my favorite. I do like some shaping, but yeah, it shouldn't take too long and then I'll have them finished for sure by the next knitting update. I have one more project that I wanted to share with you and this is one that I thought I was going to make more progress on than I ended up making, but I'm probably about halfway done with the skirt here. This is the Holly Dress by Pernille Larson and it's made out of a Cascade Heritage yarn in the colorway, I think, Strawberry Cream. And I'm, yeah, about halfway done with the skirt. So it is coming along. It's just taking a little while. And I really like how it's turning out. Evie loves it. She is such a lover of all things pink. And I think, I think she's probably even more excited about this than I am. So I want to get more progress done on it. I don't know why it's taking such a long time. I guess I've just had other projects that have kind of taken precedence, but it's getting a little further. I have finished with my first skein of yarn here, so it's not really connected to anything. I do have a couple more skeins, so I have plenty of yarn, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting further on it. So yeah, once this skirt is complete, it will be a really quick project, but just getting to that point is, it's taking a little while, but I really have been enjoying it. So yeah. Those are the projects that I've been working on so far this month. And if you saw my last knitting update, you'll know that I did finally finish my husband's sweater. I was working on the Svensson Pullover by Jared Flood and it turned out awesome. I absolutely love it. I'm kind of thinking I might start on another men's sweater. And I know in my last knitting update, I had said that I was gonna take a break from men's sweaters, but... I also have my eyes on another pattern that I really want to make and if it's taken me this long to get one sweater for my husband done, by the time I get the next one done, it'll actually be 
time to wear sweaters again. So anyway, I think that that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it and I will see you in my next video. Bye.